Okay, this is a tutorial about how to use Microsoft OneNote to make a trading journal. And there are other programs that you can do it with like Evernote and a bunch of others, but uh, OneNote comes with Microsoft Office, so if you have Office you have OneNote and it's free. Alright, so we've created a notebook. I've named it uh, ProTrader TV Journal Tutorial. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a section and name it this year. And then it's going to come with an untitled page and I'm going to put uh, uh, today's date. It's actually just turned after midnight so it says it's the next day but then anyway I'm going to put that in there. Saturday would not be a trading day. And then um, I'm going to drag a photo, I'm sorry, a uh, image that I created of, a, of something that I found to be interesting. Now you could do it with trades or ideas or whatever you want. I'm going to drop this into here and then I'm going to use right click on it and choose original size and that way it's large large enough to see well so what I did here is I created an image in a program uh, a paint program and in this particular image what I was trying to show was uh, support. I was trying to show how the price was bouncing off of a certain support area. I wasn't saying why it was support or anything, I just thought it was an interesting phenomenon. So as you can see for <clears throat> almost an hour it kept bouncing off that that spot. So I found that to be interesting. So anyway, so I have this image and can make it full screen and move it and take a look at it and so these circles I put on with a paint program and I could have put some words in there as you'll see on other images I put words in there on the on the uh, image but anyway uh, now if I want I can scroll down, down and I can put another image in here. So this image is going to show what the cues were doing at the same time as this was bouncing off. No, oh, you know what? Sorry. This is a this is a different image. So let's forget this first one for now. This is another image and then I was trying to show save a concept or show something that I thought was interesting so this happened to be uh, a VWAP bounce this is the cues it's around 12.30 and this is Netflix. So the cues came down from here, Netflix came down from here. They both bounced off VWAP at exactly the same time. Just happened and it is a trade that I took and then I thought was a good a really good example of a VWAP bounce trade. And uh so anyway, I could put this in my journal. Let's say it ha it didn't actually ha this is from a while ago, but it didn't actually happen on the day I'm doing this video, but for instance, let's say it did and I wanted to put it in there. Now, I have these images in here. I could use this to say uh, something like that. I could say uh,
So this is separate from the bottom two images, but here's an example of resistance. I could write whatever I want in there. And then here's something different. Want to put a little more space in there. So in other words, I can just I can type whatever I want in here. And as a matter of fact, this program also has a uh, microphone that you could record into it if if you want that you could record into if you wanted, or you could drop audio or video files in there. So, but just to keep it simple in the beginning, I would say uh, just make images and drop them in there. Now. Uh, Here's another aspect that's really important. These are tags. So I've created all these tags in here that I use. I have a lot of other ones too. But you could have tags like win, loss, break even, whatever type of trades you're doing, the, the stock that you're doing, what, what might have happened during it, and the day of the week. I think the day of the week is nice too. So let's say for instance I wanted to tag this particular entry with certain tags so that I could search for it so I could tag it with uh, this one here would be uh, Friday if it did we're assuming it happened on the, the Friday and this one might not really have anything else to it. That particular image might not have anything else to it. But if I scroll down here, I'm looking at a VWAP bounce trade, and it was a winning trade. So then I also might say win, and I might say, uh, well, Friday and win is, is enough. But I could customize customized tags could say new tag if we VWAP play and then I could select that and I could say VWAP play so now this thing has tags for all those individual items that I select it. And also it happens to be Netflix as well. Oops. Got to select it and then choose Netflix. Now let's do one more. You Notice I'm not using this. I'm going to add a page here and I'm going to call this page it happened to be a Thursday so I'm going to call it uh, the day before. Ideally, you might set up a bunch of them in a row. Like you might set up a whole month and do a month, month, add the pages month by month. So in this one, I'm going to take a different picture. Um, let's see here. So here, for instance, might be a trade that I did. I could put it in here. And then I could uh, move it a little bit, create a note, <coughs> excuse me.
might say something like job of this. Um, there's probably a setting that will allow that not to capitalize when you switch like that. But in any event, uh, I'm just throwing something in here. I don't even remember this trade. But uh, and I'm just looking at the chart and seeing what could possibly have happened. Um, anyway, so you, you get the idea now. For instance, so this one, well first of all, let's move that up to there. And then let's select this. This would have been a Thursday. And it also would have been a win. And it also would have been Netflix. And it also would have been... That's about it for the, the uh, tags I have on this one note here. In any event, uh, I don't want to keep I don't want to make this too long I'll probably make others uh, that are more in depth but uh, you can do it any way you want but eventually if you do it this way you'd have all your days here you'd have your years here you could do it by months if you wanted but I think it's better to do it by year and then uh, you could go through your trades and you could also uh, find tags and uh, here, let's do this. So here, here's what happens when you do find tags. So I've got one Friday tag, I've got one Thursday tra tag, I've got one win tag, and I've got two Netflix tags. So if I click on 719, it's going to bring me over to there. If I click on 718, it's going to bring me to there. Let's go back to 719 and tag this a win because this was actually a good trade. Let's go find tags and under win now I have two trades. I, I, I've got to redo that VWAP play because that did not uh, I must have clicked it twice or something. So this one was a VWAP play. Now let's look for find tags and we have VWAP play. So right now uh, let's see section title date I think tag name is the best, but uh, as you can see, after a long time, you'd have a ton of different tags, and you can actually do a search for tags if you want uh, by using this feature down here. But in any event, you would have, for instance, if you tagged it properly, you would have all your wins and then all your losses. Let's go back to, okay, let's do 719. And let's also, just for the heck of it, <clears throat> tag it a loss as well. And then we're going to find tags. And we have 719 as a loss and a win. So I could go to 7, I mean, let's say I'm 718. I could go to 719. I could look at the loss. Go back to 718. I could look at the loss now there doesn't happen to be a loss on this trade but let's say there was one let's say I had multiple trades in here I could go there and look at that and then uh, if it had a win I, I could also try and find that but you could see that under depending on how I tag it it will categorize it properly and then I can go back and look now you can be creative I just have a few tags in here. This is kind of a new notebook that I created for this this uh, tutorial. But uh, for instance, here I've got some things like middle of the day play. I do a lot of complex option trades. Sometimes I leg in and leg out. A lot of times I do, as a matter of fact, uh, to create the position. So if I found something notable about that, I might tag it that way. As a matter of fact, I'll just do that. And then let's say... <coughs> I was uh, selling options. So 
Now let's go back to, let's close this out and find the tags again. Now I could go to option selling, I'm going to go to 18. I could go to option selling, uh, VWAP play, uh, let's see, legging in, legging out. Let me show you some other tags I have in here. You saw me create this VWAP play. And by the way, I can customize the tags by, I can move this down. Now you see the uh, VWAP play is down right above the days now. So large potential gain might be either a play that I had the opportunity to make a gain and didn't do it or the play I didn't take the play but it had potential for a large gain missed opportunity that happens all the time something I didn't take that I should have taken or I could have taken um, yeah anyway you can get as creative as you want break-even plays there are a lot of break-even plays nice to uh, tag a break-even play and be able to go back and look at uh, how you manage the the trade so in other words uh, I just have this is a simple notebook and I just created it for this tutorial but you can get as creative as you want and uh, after you've been doing it for a few months you can search the tags or you can do a find tags and you can really be able to go back and look at patterns in your trading and uh, you could do, for instance, uh, a tag uh, needs improvement or something like that. And then you can go back and you can look at all the trades that you think you could have done better or that you need improvement on, that sort of thing. Anyway, I don't want to make this too long, so I think I'm going to cut it off here and then I'll check it out, see how it looks, and probably do more in the future. And if if I get feedback from you guys as to other things you'd like to see in this journal concept, uh, let me know and if I get feedback I'll uh, try and make some time to do more videos on this. Okay, I think that's it for now.